my second channel we are doing another gun video today i've actually already did this intro once and i accidentally forget the pressure cord so i've actually already got the gun loaded the gun we're shooting today is an m1 carbine as you can see we got some water drops mother nature thanks a lot for resting my gun in return can you please make it sunny tomorrow Thank you. But we're shooting an M1 carbine. This is one of the most mass-produced guns of all of World War II, at least in America. Not sure about the most in the gun. But man, look at this thing. What a beauty. You'll hear this thing called the M1 carbine or the 30 carbine. 30 carbine is actually the bullet it shoots. It's kind of like an elongated pistol caliber. Honestly, a submachine gun, kind of what you could call it, I guess. Or you could just call it carbine, because that's exactly what it is. So who is this gun issued to? Because front lines? Maybe. It was mainly issued to people who whose job in the military wasn't going to be like shooting at people every day. So like frontline soldiers, probably not going to get this gun. This is more for people like a truck driver, you know, because there's a lot of them. There's a lot of artillery people. There's a lot of people that don't exactly fight on the front lines every day of the war. So that is why they would go with this, because it's a whole lot lighter than an M1 Garand. And you could just throw it on your back and be do whatever your normal job is. And uh, if you did get into a battle, this was a whole lot better than a 1911. Oh no, it's getting windy and I'm sure you can hear the wind noises but we're gonna keep on going. Also I would like to apologize because uh, we don't really have any sponsors for the video and uh, we only got 13 rounds of M1 carbine because you know what that's just all I could get. But don't worry I do have some footage from other videos I'll throw it in here at the end. It's, it started to rain actually pretty hard so we're gonna go ahead and send some rounds down range. Down range is super close because we're using pistol cartridges and uh, we don't have to worry about messing up the targets. Oh yeah I like it. Here we go. Fun. Let me bring y'all around so you can see what actually what I'm shooting at. Okay, got a few more shots. Let's go. And that's all we got. See, we really don't have an ammo sponsor, so yeah, kind of hurts on the uh, ability to shoot. Because we don't have bullets, you know what I mean? Ah, okay, sweet. Fun fact, if you didn't know, this is the M1 carbine, and they actually made an M2 carbine, which was this. Except it's fully auto. Personally, if I was in war, y'all seen it actually kicked a little bit. I probably wouldn't want an M2 carbine. I'd probably just want to stick with the semi-auto. I've always liked the action on these babies because that right there spins and you can watch it spin. And then it just comes right back. When it goes forward, it spins and locks. I always thought that was cool because you could see it a lot better than any other gun. As for the sights, you can see them right here. It's just a little aperture sight. You can adjust it. It's basically a mini M1 Garand. And I don't think that's a secret, but almost everything's just like an M1 Grand. But it's a smaller caliber, a whole lot lighter package. It is raining. Unfortunately, I'm going to go inside. But here's some clips of the M1 carbine. I've, uh, you know, roll the clip. Put one in it. It's ready to shoot. Right now it's on safety, but all I gotta do is turn it off. But first, let's head on over here and uh, let's make sure this ain't a turkey hunter because I really don't want to kill somebody today. That's not exactly of my best interest. Hello? Is there anyone there? Okay, good. Okay guys, I think our first target is going to be that little white thing right there. It's actually a bottle in the water. <laughs> Did anyone else just see those attack fighters? There they go again! Oh my goodness! I just got ambushed by a bunch of ducks. Like those ducks legit wanted to land right here in this creek, but then somehow they saw me. Probably because I was sitting here talking to a camera. But then they just bounced. They said, uh-uh, I don't want to see that man. He's scary. That time we got it pretty good. Okay, boys, I think we're safe. The coast is clear. Houston, there is no problem. I took care of it. Vote for me, Kendall Gray, President 2045, at your service. Not only am I an outdoor YouTuber, but I'm also a fearless defender of not only your country, but mine too. I'm Kendall Gray, and I approve this message.